Hello and a very warm welcome, Dr. Abhishek here. And in this very short video, I am going to share with you from my experience, what are those seven things that you cannot ignore in your run up to the prelim of 2024. The prelim of 2024 is almost here, barely seven days to go. And next Sunday, you will be in the examination hall. And if you have been preparing for this prelim with any amount of seriousness, I'm pretty sure many of you might be feeling a bit nervous. To begin with, do not feel nervous. The things are very much in your control. If you have been preparing at least for the last two or three months exclusively for the prelim, if you have gone through the essential reading material, it could be a set of books, it could be a compilation of material, or it could be just the notes and material given by your coaching institute. Depending whatever you have adopted as the core material for your prelim examination, if you have done it well, if you have solved at least 15 to 20 question papers, if you have analyzed, if you have seen and attempted the previous year's question at least five years, I would say you are among the very serious candidates for the prelim. And if in the last seven days, you just hold your calm and do the essential things, this prelim can very well be your year. So let us start with those seven things which I would highly recommend in this last week of prelim preparation. Then you will be in the examination hall. The first thing is about managing your time. It is a very generic piece of advice, managing your time. But what I mean here more specifically, that first and foremost, this is the time when you will have to commit to a study at least 13 hours. And then remaining 11 hours, you can leave for your sleep, for your other daily activities and so on. 13 hours is something that is non-negotiable in the last seven days. Prior to this, whatever has been your daily sincere input, that does not matter anymore because most of your serious contemporaries will be itna hi kaam kar rahe honge. So in this last week, you have to kind of uh, press the accelerator a little more and 13, 13 and a half, even 14, you should be touching. As long as you are not compromising on seven hours of sleep, any number of hours that you devote in your studies will be giving you the fruit that you are desiring. So I am saying just to keep it a little easy for all of you. So I'll keep marking it as well. So well, I am saying first and foremost that you have to adopt this 13 plus 11 framework. 13 is meant for your studies. 11 includes 7 hours of sleep. Some, some of you may need even 8 hours of sleep, which is perfectly all right. And another 3 to 4 hours for a little bit of exercise and a little bit of daily activities. That is the first thing. Pick up a piece of paper and pen and plan your 13 hours. Now, I have a small proposal that when you are planning your 13 hours of studies, why not break it into 4, 3, 3 plus 3 framework? So this 4, 3, 3 plus 3 framework is like 4 goes to, I'll pick up a lighter color so that the contrast is higher. 4 will be for a larger GS segment. 3 for another GS segment. Another 3 for another GS segment. So essentially you are devoting 10 hours out of 13 on doing general studies. And you are breaking it into three segments of four hour, three hour, and three hours. Okay. And four hour, that is the largest GS segment, should be going to the largest GS area as well. There are a couple of GS areas which are more important than other GS areas. For them, you have to devote that four hour slot. In the next one, I am going to show you how I would have broken my 13 hours into 4, 3, 3, plus 3, if I would have been in your position, okay? So 4 to GS larger segment, 3 to GS smaller, 3 to GS smaller, and last 3 will go to CSAT. It is non-negotiable. Until and unless you rate yourself as exceptionally good in CSAT, I would highly recommend that CSAT should be receiving at least 3 hours from you on daily basis. Why 3 hours? two hours to basically attempt the paper. 
in csat give it all the time that it requires to solve the paper do not be in a hurry to rush through the paper because csat paper has such nature that if you are rushing through the paper it is very likely that you will be committing a lot of avoidable mistakes which we often call silly mistakes but mistake is a mistake and it will cost you marks in your examination but if you are a little more deliberate a little more attentive and if you are not rushing then you will be able to get higher than usual correct uh, responses in the csat so 2 hours to solve the csat paper and 1 hour to analyze where you went wrong so last 3 hour segment must be going to csat so adopt this 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 framework if you do not have already any framework if you have already divided your study hours into a specific segments depending on your needs by all means follow that i am not imposing this one but if you are not having a plan of your own then this can be a very useful framework which has been taken by a number of students who cleared prelim quite easily uh, but of course behind that they had a good amount of background work main ye nahi keh raha ki last one uh, week mein unhone apni puri prelim ke game ko ace kar li aisa bilkul nahi hai but i hope you understand what i am saying and next is basically prioritize and optimize what do i mean by prioritize and optimize in every subject there are certain areas which are more important than other areas and all that you need to do is to go through the last 10 years question and you will be understanding it very very clearly if i give you example of indian economy it goes without saying that inflation rbi and banking sector operations public finance that will include taxation and all external sector that will include trade as well as investment and then bonds etc or let us say capital market in the larger framework of things now these are some of the most important segments in indian economy obviously in the last 7 days you will be prioritizing your revision on these topics similarly in environmental and ecolo environmental ecology something that i teach in that biological diversity wildlife they happen to be quite important climate change various international initiatives institutions agreements frameworks reports they happen to be quite important similarly ozone layer uh, protection ozone layer protection ko lekar ke jo bhi international initiatives hain how india has performed in meeting its committed targets so on they happen to be quite important so those couple of things which are more important than others should be receiving your priority attention in this last one week and accordingly you have to optimize your time allocation to those areas so that is prioritize and optimize next is definitely by all means eliminate stressors what do i mean eliminate stressors there will be lot of people lot of situations which will be adding to your stress some amount of stress or maybe very intense stress in this last one week is inevitable you cannot uh, wish it away simple as this like my father has always told me that only two categories of students are not stressed in the last week running up to the examination when i was a student he used to tell me only two categories of students one who is so confident that even if that student stops studying the student is going to do well in the examination that obviously does not apply to most of us or perhaps does not apply to any of us it never applied to me when i was a student and it never applied to any student any friend who i ever knew who would not study at all in the last one week and still would do very good in the examination so my father said there is this group of students perhaps imaginary group of students jinko koi stress nahi hoga and second who have totally given up that no matter how hard we try hamara nahi ho raha is baar so they would be unstressed 
but everyone else will be under some pressure, under some stress. So it is inevitable. So why to add more stress to already existing stress? There will be people, there will be situation which will be adding to your stress. It could be some friend only who would always be boastful about his or her score, how well he or she is doing in the test series and that will be adding to your stress because that makes you feel inadequate. So for a week at least, avoid all such situations, avoid all such people which add to your stress. You need to handle only as much stress as it is unavoidable. Any additional stress is unwelcome. Identify, I don't have to meet these people. I don't have to talk to these people even over phone. I do not have to expose myself to such situations. I will give you another stressor situation, not people. Like you will pick up a brand new test paper. You will pick up a brand new test paper and you will start attempting it. It is likely that out of 100, your effective correct score is only for 40 questions. That means after all the adjustment of negatives and all that, what you are getting is 80 out of 120. Although it is higher than last year's cutoff, still it will fill your mind with doubt. And what if your score is 65, 70? It will fill your mind with dark clouds of self-doubt. I would say do not attempt a single new paper in this last one week that is available before the prelim. I am coming to the test paper a little later in this video, but this is a stressful situation. As, as a student, I would have never attempted something absolutely new in the last one week because that will give me so much stress that I would be feeling very shaky about what I already know. So, yes, situations ko or aise kai situations ko, please avoid at all costs. And then eliminate distractions. Today, the biggest distraction is in our pocket on our table. Our mobile phone, where we continuously get notifications from Telegram, Instagram and WhatsApp. If possible, for some time at least, log out of all these accounts. Simply log out. Do not merely stop the notification. That is not enough because sooner or later your brain will ask you to pick up the phone and see the updates. Don't do that. If possible, even uninstall it for a week. You will very well uh, do without these apps. Telegram. Now, whatever material that you had to collect, you have already collected. So, you don't need Telegram for the last one week. Similarly, WhatsApp, if you want to uninstall and then reinstall, take a backup and uninstall it or at least please log out and same goes for Instagram. These are the three biggest distractors and if you identify any other app, any other activity which are your distractors, just remove them from your life for the next seven days. It will do a whole lot of good to you. Once you have mastered this time game, time to move to the revision framework. Let us move next. Now, I understand that many of you would have already planned your revision. But what if some first timers have not planned their revision? This is just a proposal. I am not insisting that you must adopt this proposal, but this is a proposal. And if you do not already have a plan, you can very well adopt this. So you have got seven days from Sunday, that is 9th of June 2024, until Saturday 15th of June 2024. You have got these seven days. How I would have done in these seven days? In my first four hours, I would have done Indian economy. And Indian economy is significantly big. And even if I am having all my material in a very condensed form and everything, still I would have needed two days for Indian economy. So I am calling it Indian economy one. I would have devoted it four hours. This one would have taken three hours. This one would have taken three hours. And this one would take three hours. Now, if you talk about science and technology, every given year, under current and otherwise, there would be approximately 10 questions. 
I am not saying that UPSC is obliged to follow this pattern even this year. I am no way suggesting that. But if you look at the average of the past 5 years, then 8 to 10 questions are coming from science and technology. 20 questions approximately are coming from Indian economy and no less than 12 questions are coming from here. So if you combine these three areas, it is giving you 42 questions coverage. And still you are uh, not doing history abhi to nahi kiya na day one ko. So history nahi kiya hai, aapne geography nahi ki hai and all of these things so that will further add. So that is your Sunday plan. If you have not planned your Sunday, adopt this one. Monday, go ahead and finish your Indian economy. Go ahead and finish your Indian polity, devoting three hours. And on Monday, please pick up culture and ancient and medieval Indian history. This is one very neglected part. And therefore, what I have done that I have brought it above modern Indian history, knowing fully well that the history of independence struggle is more important than ancient and medieval history. But in the last three, four years, the way history questions have been shifting, it is important not to neglect this. And one good way not to neglect anything is to just bring it a little high, higher in the hierarchy. So that is what I have done. And CSAT, I would still do. I would not take CSAT at all for granted. Now on day three, that is Tuesday, I will pick up modern India. Modern India is big, so I'll devote four hours. And same on Wednesday, I'll devote four hours. Environment is also a big area. And mind it, that environment gives you something close to 15 questions. So it is something that has to be taken extremely seriously. So modern India, even in a year when it is giving you a conservative number of questions, eight to nine questions will be coming from modern India. So modern India deserves time. Why I, I have not put environment above? Because environment, despite giving such a big number of questions, it is a very conceptual area. And if you understand environment well, then it does not need four hours sitting for two days. So I would give environment three hours sitting, another three hours sitting. And on this day, I will also do geography. All right, giving three hours and focusing on the parts of geography which are more important than others. And if you want to know, it is physical geography. And CSAT will go on as usual. If I neglect CSAT, it will be only at my own risk. I should not be doing that. And on Wednesday, I will pick up current affair. I am sure ki abhi tak kuch na kuch aapne condense karke kuch list ya kuch table ke form mein current affair ko distill kiya hoga. Agar nahi kiya hai to jo bhi compilation aap follow kar rahe hai. Kam se kam mein itna expect kar raha hoon ki wahan pe kaam ki cheezo ko aapne underline or highlight kar diya hai. So please read that for three hours non-stop. Beech mein paanch minute ke liye uth gaya aadhe ghante ke baad. That is pardonable. But uske alawa you have to be at it. Okay. And then CSAT continues even on Wednesday. So that is how my first four days will look like. And if I give conservatively even 10 questions from current, although most of economy will be current based, most of science and technology will be current based, most of environment will be current based. But even if after all these areas, even if I assign just 10 questions conservatively to pure current, if you see here, 42 questions and if you see here 30 questions and if you see 10 questions so that means 82 questions worth I have already revised in the first four days that will be a huge confidence booster okay so this is something that you can implement if you do not have your own plan now moving next what about the last few days. Some of the areas will return on last few days. Okay. So current affairs, another four hours, another four hours. Why? Because when you do current affairs, you will be augmenting his uh, economy, sorry, not history, uh, economy, science and technology, polity. So whole lot of things you will anyway be updating and that will be helping you solve questions better in economy, science and technology, environment for that matter, even in politics. 
okay then whatever you feel needs more revision especially the fats which you are forgetful about it can be anything let us say you have a difficulty recalling the international treaties institutions related to environment okay this is the time when you will be implementing it suppose you have problem recalling the socio religious uh, movements in the history part or tribal uprisings in history part or the major constitutional developments any of these if you uh, have trouble recalling and if you already know that it is important for you i will highly recommend give undiluted 6 hours to this and the same thing will be going on this day 6 hours so now 433 has been consolidated into 4 plus 6 and mind it current affairs is not current affairs it is serving the interest of economy science and technology environment polity policy and all of this and csat goes on as usual csat goes on as usual Saturday, what you are going to do, you are going to quick revision, I would call it QR, right, quick revision of four high yield areas. All of these at least at four hours each on Saturday. Four hours on Indian economy, four hours on Indian polity, four hours on environment, four hours on science. 16 hours and just go and sleep how you manage is up to you if you find it very drastic okay these two can be three and three hours and then it reduces to 14 hours it is up to you how much you can implement but do not compromise on sleep otherwise what will happen that even a lot of things that you already know a lot of things that you have already memorized you will find difficulty in recalling this so do not let that happen to you it has happened to so many students that they have burnt out themselves so much that their prelim day performance is suboptimal. It is more like that if you have a final match, then the day before final match, you would not be exercising so much, you would not be net practicing so much that you are too tired to play well in the final match. So many inspire karnikali bol diya 16 hours. If you think 12 hours will work for you and I need to sleep. 10 hours to be in my peak form on the day of prelim by all means please do that by all means please do that whatever suits you the best do that but ye wo waqt hai jab aapko apne aapko push bhi karna hai without compromising on the quality and on the duration of sleep because it is essential for you to retain recall and even apply what you already know that is how i would be dividing my 7 days moving next now the third thing mock test there are a couple of things that i have to tell you about the mock test kuch cheeze counter intuitive hai bahut logo ne youtube pe iska bilkul ulta bataya hai i am going to tell you certain things but main uski reason bhi aapko bataunga so at least you know ki main jo bata raha hu kyun bata raha hu right so let us take a look please let me pick up the marker yes so first thing is that revise and redo the test सेवेन डेज के लिए आप सेवेन टेस्ट निकाल लो जो आपको बहुत अच्छे टेस्ट लगे थे जो बहुत ही ज्यादा विच आर अलाइन टू द प्रिलिम एग्जामिनेशन विच यू फेल्ट दैट ओके दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच इज वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू द एक्चुअल डिमांड्स ऑफ द प्रिलिम एग्जामिनेशन पिक अप सच सेवन टेस्ट इफ पॉसिबल मे बी इवन टेन टेस्ट री डू दो टेस्ट यू विल बी सरप्राइज दैट इवन द टेस्ट दैट यू हैव सॉल्व you will still be committing mistakes in those tests it is so shocking lekin aisa hota hai so the first thing first that redo the test aur main ye kehna cha raha hu ki last one week mein please koi naya test mat lagana lot of people will say seven days seven tests i would say no if something gives you a stress don't do that you have already taken enough number of tests ab koi nayi test laga kar ke apne aap ko stress karke you are not going to do any favor to your examination hall performance mai to nahi karta right mere koi bhi student who have adhered to what i have told and they have cleared the prelim with a safe margin because as a part of my job i specialize in making students clear the prelim examination for the forest service examination which demands 
at least 10 to 15 marks higher than the cutoff that goes for the civil service examination. And this is what I have to say to all the students. Please, in the exam week, mein, you do not pick up new test. Right? So, we have to protect our mental sanity also. So, that is revise and redo the test. Second, still adhere to the time limit. <clears throat> like for GS, you should ideally take 100, and, uh, 100 to 105 minutes, 15 minutes uh, before you should be finishing it. If you can finish it in 90 minutes, all the better. Because GS can be solved in 90 minutes to 100 minutes, max 105 minutes. You have to create a buffer of 15 minutes. So, adhere to that time limit. Then do not over analyze your performance. Lot of people will say, uh, attempt the test, analyze it very closely. No, that close analysis time is gone. If you over analyze it, it will impact your emotional well being. You will feel nervous. You will take it personally. Because I keep getting such messages on my phone, on my WhatsApp. कि सर लगता है नहीं होगा and these are such students कि अगर उनको मैं थोड़ा सा push कर दूँ तो वो prelim ही नहीं clear करेंगे वो पूरी exam को clear करेंगे and I can take the names but जो पिछले साल में ऐसे रहे हैं लेकिन अभी उसकी जरूरत नहीं है so I am trying to say that even the students who are ready to crack all the stages of the examination if they over analyze their last week performance they will feel unsure about even the prelim examination so that's what and then the purpose of attempting the test is to identify कि इतना करने के बावजूद क्या ऐसा है जो अभी भी मेरे ग्रिप में नहीं है क्या ऐसा है जिसमें मैंने दूसरी बार गलती करी और उसको फटाफट एक बार रिवाइज कर लेने की जरूरत है so basically you you have to identify कि what are the areas which are still kind of slipping away कहाँ पे आपसे common mistakes हो रही हैं and you just do that it can be anything it can be a static ये हो सकता है कि बायोटेक्नोलॉजी के टर्म्स आपके क्लियर ना हो इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल ये हो सकता है कि पार्लियामेंट्री प्रोसीजर को लेकर के क्लैरिटी ना हो इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल सो व्हाट एवर इट इज जस्ट एड्रेस दोज वीकनेस एंड देन सिमुलेट द एक्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट यहां पे सिमुलेशन से एक ही मतलब है <coughs> कि सिट डाउन विद टाइमर ऑन डू नॉट लेट एनी डिस्ट्रैक्शन कम कीप योर फोन आउटसाइड ऑफ द रूम and simply let the timer dictate and then all the answer that you are solving make sure that you are uh, filling up you are darkening the circle in the omr seat that is very very important because that will give you the actual feel and if you do it seven days then eighth day the day of actual prelim examination will feel like just the eighth day of doing what you have already been doing for the last seven days so what zarur se karna hai, right so, जब आप टेस्ट कर ही रहे हैं तो सिमुलेट करना है नए टेस्ट नहीं करने आपको बी टोटली श्योर इट इज वेरी काउंटर इंट्यूटिव बट यू विल थैंक मी फॉर दैट आफ्टर योर प्रिलिम एग्जामिनेशन डू नॉट ओवर एनालाइज डू नॉट पास एनी जजमेंट ऑन योर प्रिपेयरनेस एंड डू नॉट लेट एनी वन एल्स पास जजमेंट अगर सोच लिया कि प्रिलिम देना है तो देना है ठीक है नो बडी एल्स शुड डिसाइड कि आपको प्रिलिम देना है या नहीं देना है सो डू दीज थिंग्स नाउ मूविंग टू द फोर्थ पार्ट that is a stress management. I just have two suggestions here. Because this is a period when you will inevitably get a stress. So the first thing is that same thing does not work for everyone. For some people, talking to parents will matter. For some people, talking to a couple of friends will matter. For some people, meditation helps. For some people, a combination of these things will help. For some people, prayer helps. Identify ki aapko kya help karta hai. Right? And do that. So, I am not going to tell you that meditate. What if it doesn't work for you? What if, if you do not know how to meditate? Okay? But there is something that will calm you down. Maybe just a WhatsApp call if you are staying away from your parents. Just a WhatsApp video call where your parents get to see your face. You get to see your parents' face. And... You, you talk to them for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and that may have a calming effect. The same may apply to some friend or something. If that works for you, by all means, adopt that once a day, twice a day, whatever works. Because if you are not mentally and emotionally in a very strong place, the prelim examination 
will be a little shaky. So that mental and emotional well-being, that strength, that resilience is something that is non-negotiable. Aaj main ye word bahut zyada use kar raha hu, non-negotiable. But well, in the last uh, one week, agar kuch tips hai, to wo non-negotiable hai, tabhi to wo tips hai, hai na? So find whatever works for you and practice that. And say no to stressors. Stressors, stressors could be people, stressors could be situations. Okay? So whatever is a stressor, like I said, that do not attempt new paper. That, that is a situation, why did I say that? Because that could have very well been a stressor, right? Similarly, some people who will always talk about the examination, who will always talk about what impossible preparation someone else has done, if they have not done, किसी और की ही बात करेंगे अरे उसके तो टेस्ट में जो है सो 100 प्लस आ रहे हैं और यहां पर हम प्रेशर में है कि हमारा 75 भी नहीं आ रहा राइट सो दीज आर स्ट्रेसर्स स्टे अवे फ्रॉम दैट दैट कामनेस दैट स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इन द लास्ट 7 डेज एंड देन द फिफ्थ वन इज इंडीड हेल्दी हैबिट्स डू नॉट थिंक दैट इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम एन ओल्डर पर्सन और घर के मम्मी पापा अंकल्स की तरह वो कुछ हेल्थ की एडवाइस दे रहे हैं बट अगेन दिस इज समथिंग आई एम नॉट सजेस्टिंग एनीथिंग मैं ये बताऊं कि आई एम नॉट सजेस्टिंग समथिंग व्हिच आई हैव नॉट सीन बीइंग अप्लाइड ऑन माय स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीस थिंग्स कम फ्रॉम मोर देन 20 इयर्स ऑफ वर्किंग वेरी क्लोजली विद सिविल सर्विस एस्पिरेंट्स एंड इन दिस जर्नी एज यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी नोन फ्रॉम आवर वेबसाइट एंड ऑल दैट दैट आई हैव बीन इन्वॉल्व विद मोर देन 2000 पीपल who found a rank in the UPSC civil service examination or the UPSC Indian forest service examination. Okay. So it is not that I'm just talking general theoretical good things. No, these things do matter. Hence I'm talking. Okay. So first and foremost, minimum seven hours per night and night part is important. Now, at least in the seven days time, you have to be someone, you have to transform into someone who's more alert during the daytime and who sleeps in the night time because all the stages of the examination prelim means or for that matter the personality test all of them are daytime examination you are getting my point so to do well at any stage of this examination you need to be someone who's at his or her peak during the daytime and who takes rest uh, and recharges oneself during the night so seven hours of night sleep more or less in alignment with your circadian rhythm is extremely important for your intellectual well-being. Whatever you know, whatever you understand, you will be able to recall it better, you will be able to uh, apply it better. Then take a little lighter diet in the next seven days. Whatever is your usual amount of food, just reduce it a bit. Maybe 20% you reduce it. It will make you more alert. That is scientifically proven. At least on short term, it works. So practice two light meals and one snacks. Two light meals, maybe it could be your breakfast and lunch, which will be light meal ke form, mein honge, or your dinner can be simply a snack. Right. Or if you dinner, then okay, lunch or dinner will be a meal. But make, make sure that it is lighter by 20% than your usual intake and the eat healthy food home cooked food for at least next seven days no no ordered outside food or do not walk out uh, to a vendor this is anyway summertime food contamination food bone infection are very very common biological factors are there so stay away from outside food so much as possible and use home cooked food and eat lighter that is something then exercise, Kuch bhi lamba chora nahi, but go for 30 minutes walk, it will improve your retention, it will improve your focus and this is something I have personally experienced. So please go out for 30 minutes walk, if 30 minutes at a stretch seems harder, 15 minutes plus 15 minutes, you will again thank me later for this, even 3 days, even 3 days of continuous brisk walk for 30 minutes improves your cognitive capacity. Uh, go and find what Dr. Wendy Suzuki has to say. She is one of the leading uh, neurobiologists uh, working in this field of impact of exercise on your mental capabilities. And this is what she found out in one of her 
meta analysis okay so go for 30 minutes of walk and 15 minutes of gentle stretching that's all i'm not saying go and join a gym and all just 30 minutes of walk if 30 minutes is not doable 15 minutes plus 15 minutes and another 15 minutes preferably in the morning nice gentle stretches do not overdo anything do not do it more than 45 minutes and that will be more than enough everything for the prelim examination and lastly meditate or deeply breathe for 10 minutes or just focus uh, i mean even uh, develop a religious focus if you are a religious person any form of meditation i am not saying any particular type of meditation meditation is like uh, just disconnecting from your surrounding and focusing with one object one thing it could be your breath it could be sitting in front of an idol and uh, worshipping it could be any form of meditation 10 to 15 minutes will really help you stay calm and perform better and finally the examination day arrives there are a couple of things that you will be needing on the examination day first and foremost you need to know exactly how to reach your center you need to have booked a cab or you need to have found the public transport uh, route how to reach there and make sure you reach earlier make sure you reach with all the needed documents okay like your id your hall ticket everything everything you have to pack a day before and then you have to start early so that you reach your examination center before time you should be carrying your meal do not rely on the examination hall ke bahar kuch bhi mil jayega no what you eat directly impacts your cognitive uh, capacities so carry something light it could be just banana dahi or something but please carry your meals and it is a scorching summer in almost all parts of india carry enough water bottles if possible take help of a friend take help of a family member to accompany you to the examination center so that while you are writing the examination they are holding your meal and other things you need this support if possible and last but not the least at least on that day when you wake up just say a small prayer and have confidence in yourself the seventh point i have not written anywhere the seventh slide does not exist but i said there are seven things so seventh thing is that have confidence on yourself and then have confidence on that supreme power of the universe have confidence that up until now you have done well and you have done whatever you could have done under the given circumstances given circumstances of available resources given circumstances of available help given circumstances of internal motivation family circumstances everything you have done your best and the rest of the confidence you need to have on the supreme power of this universe that if you have done your job with honesty the supreme power this universe will reward you also but this is the day when you should not be thinking of the reward when you should only be thinking of what is your task go ahead do your karm and the result will follow that's the seventh thing there is no seventh slide all the very best to all of you you will do well work with this confidence in the next seven days i will see you after your prelim examination good luck to all of you all the best.